This is part three in the tutorial dealing with health bars, lives, and dynamic scoring. Let's take a look at the dynamic scoring again. You'll see in the top left hand corner of the screen my score is being added upon at a speed of my choosing, but also if I destroy the ships, my score is increased according by 500. That is the number I wanted to increase it by. So let's quickly go over how this is done. It is simply done using variables. Let's look at all the controlling objects. We know that every time we destroy an enemy plane, I'm going to open the enemy plane object, that we are getting points. So hence there is collisions between us and the enemy planes and the shots. When the shot hits the enemy plane, it destroys it, creates the explosions, blah blah blah, but also it sets the variable right here. Lives, kills, and score. You'll notice this is an object that I have here. This controls all the lives, the kills, and the score. And you'll also notice that there is a dot and then the variable is score points. And it is relative or it increases by 500. So let's go back to that lives, kills, score object. First of all, here it is, score points. There's the variable that controls my score. Let's go back to the enemy plane. Score points. It is the same thing. So what happens is the score is added to this variable and then it is drawn on the screen through this draw function right here. The draw function draws the text color of score, and you'll remember in the previous tutorial, of lives. The score is equal to, and I left a little space, and then I added this string variable. Now the string variable makes it so you can add, a, um, under the create event, that variable you set called score points, right here. So this word is in actuality a number and that number will change depending on how many points you have. So, therefore, it's updated in real time. So go ahead, if you have my file, you can write it your own, or you can copy and paste this into your game, whichever you choose. Let me see here, I think that might be about it. Uh, oh, yes, the score. Well, what about the score adding upon itself when we are not uh, shooting an enemy? That also is controlled under the live skill score object. So I'm going to open that again and it's controlled under the step event. But I had to add this variable that would make it add upon the timing that I wanted. So I added uh, a variable called score weight and this will turn off and on. Uh, I'll show you here in a second. And I also added an alarm called score weight and, and made it um, a value of zero. That's the same um, value that I have in the create event. Okay, so let's look under the step tab, and here it is. It's controlled right here. If score weight is equal to zero, this is a control variable right here that you can drag in. Uh, score weight if is equal to zero, which we know it is. Set the variable score points to one, so give myself a point, and then set score weight to one. So Ever since now that this uh, score weight is equal to 1, it is no longer 0, therefore this is not working anymore. But I do want it to work again, so I set an alarm. And I gave that alarm just a, a split second here. I made it, uh, the alarm equal to 1. So after that split second, the alarm runs, it sets the score weight back to 0. Since it's 0 again, it executes this command, it adds the point, it turns off, goes back to 0, Okay, it just keeps, you get the point. It just keeps looping and looping and looping and looping. And that is how you get your survival scoring. Okay, thank you.